deaerator storage tank and condenser hot well level control loops this topic comes under auxiliary control loops of thermal power plants deaerator storage tank and condenser hot well level control loops the condensate system withdraws condensate from the condenser hot well and pumps the condensate through low pressure feed water heaters to the deaerator the condenser hot well and the deaerator storage tank are the two reservoirs in the turbine cycle there are three control loops for this system the figure is shown in the next slide this is the condensate system control diagram mentioned in the previous slide the same diagram but little bigger in size whenever you may feel like refer to this diagram let us spend some time to get familiar with this diagram this is the boiler feed pump which is getting water from deaerator storage tank and pumping it to boiler the deaerator tank level is controlled by this control valve on the condensate supply line this is the condensate pump this is the condenser hot well these are the condensate makeup valves these are condensate dump valves This is the condensate storage tank. Request it is hoped that this session is going to be useful to you. Please press like. Please subscribe. Condensate system controls The deaerator storage tank serves as a surge tank for the boiler feed water. The tank level is controlled by a control valve on the condensate supply line to the deaerator. As with the boiler drum level control loop, a three element scheme can be used for this application to enhance system response in this case the three elements are the tank level feed water flow out of the tank and condensate flow into the deaerator the condensate flow into the deaerator can be regulated by either modulating a control valve on the condensate line into the deaerator or by varying the speed of the condensate pumps with variable speed pumps the pump discharge pressure varies with load at low loads the condensate pressure may be too low to be used for auxiliary services such as boiler feed pump injection water and turbine exhaust hood spray in such instances care must be taken to ensure that the pressure does not drop below the level required for such services the condenser hot well serves as a reservoir for water in the turbine cycle periodically 
साइकिल मेकअप वाटर इज नीडेड बिकॉज ऑफ वाटर लॉस थ्रू वाटर लीकेज स्टीम वेंटिंग और नॉन रिकवरेबल स्टीम यूसेज ड्यूरिंग ऑपरेशन द वाटर लॉस मस्ट बी रिप्लेस फ्रॉम एन एक्सटर्नल सोर्स The condensate level in the hot well is generally an indication of the amount of water in the turbine cycle. The hot well level can be controlled within a safe range by modulating makeup and dump control valves. When the level reaches the high end of the level range the dump valve opens to dump the excess condensate from the condenser hot well to a condensate storage tank Loss of condensate from the turbine cycle is reflected by a low level in the hot well When level reaches the low point the makeup valves open to supply makeup water to the cycle the makeup flow can vary drastically depending on the magnitude of the loss in condensate during operation because of the low pressure differential between the condensate storage tank and the hot well the usual arrangement is to have two valves operating in sequence using one valve for low makeup flow condition and both valves on high makeup flow condensate system control an alternative arrangement as an alternative the hot well level can be controlled by regulating the condensate flow out of the hot well and the deaerator tank level can be controlled within a band between an upper limit and a lower limit by regulating the excess condensate flow and the cycle makeup flow the condensate dump valve from the hot well to the condensate storage tank opens when the deaerator tank level reaches the upper limit and the makeup valve from the condensate storage tank opens when the deaerator tank level reaches the lower limit request it is hoped that this session was useful to you please press like please subscribe